The Arcana Force archetype is a series of cards that made their debut in the Light of Destruction. They were used by Sartorius, the main antagonist of the second arc of the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX anime. The archetype is themed around tarot cards, with the monsters based around the major arcana cards and the spells and traps based around the minor arcana cards. Tarot cards themselves were originally created in Europe around the 15th century as a simple deck of cards to be used for card games. However, at some point in the 18th century, they began to be used for divination in the form of tarotology, where people would allegedly gain insight into the past, present, and future by posing questions to the cards. When you reveal a tarot card, its positioning can reveal different meanings. This is reflected in the anime, as when Sartorius used an Arcana Force monster's ability, the card would spin, and if it was right side up, he would gain a positive effect, whereas if it was upside down, he would typically gain a negative outcome. Outcome. In the card game, it is translated instead to a coin flip. Tarot cards, like the Arcana Force cards, are numbered. There are 22 major Arcana cards altogether, and each one has a meaning attached to it, which is dependent on the positioning of the card as well. Before we start looking at each one of the monsters, I actually want you to pick a number between 0 and 21, and then flip a coin. Heads will represent up, and tails will represent upside down. At the end of the video, leave a comment with your number and coin result, and then match it up to the Arcana Force monster and the tarot card card reading you get from this video. That will be your reading. That's more or less how tarot cards work. Normally you pick three and you do like a, a full reading of past, present and future. But for this instance, just pick one and then, you know, just go with that. So have fun. Hope you get something good and not something bad. <laughs> anyway, let's go through each one of the Arcanas and see what they symbolize, starting with Arcana Force Zero, The Fool. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. This card cannot be changed to defense position except with a card effect. When this card is summoned, toss a coin and gain the appropriate effect. Heads. Negate your card effects that target this card and destroy them. Tails. Negate your opponent's card effects that target this card and destroy them. Arcana Force Zero, The Fool, is a representation of the Fool Tarot card. It is a very powerful card in a tarot deck due to its number of zero. The number gives it unlimited potential, since it does not have a specific place. It could come at the beginning, or it could come at the end. The Fool represents a new beginning, and consequently an end to something in your old life. The Fool is a warning that important decisions are ahead, which may not be easy to make and involve an element of risk for you. Approach the changes with optimism and try to gain the most positive outcome. If it is upright, it is a sign of new beginnings, innocence, spontaneousness, a free spirit, and a leap of faith. If it is reversed, it represents naivety, foolishness, recklessness, risk-taking, and chaos. This monster and both Arcana Force X monsters do not actually follow the attack pattern of all the other Arcana Force monsters. This may be due to them being outside of the typical numbers. The Arcana Force monsters typically follow this rule. Their attack and defense points are equal to their number, times 100 plus 1000. However, this monster's attack and defense is zero, where it should be 1000. Zero times 100 equals zero, plus 1,000 should equal 1,000. However, this one breaks the rule. This monster is also unique along with the anime card, The Hangman, as these are the only Arcana Force monsters that gain their positive effects from a tails result instead of a heads result. However, this could be due to the fact that this card was given to Jaden by Sartorius and summoned through decisive power of absolute destiny. So, its upright effect was beneficial to Sartorius, as Jaden was unable to remove it from the field with his own cards. And this card appears in the artwork of Reptilian Poison. Arcana Force 1, The Magician. When this card is summoned, toss a coin. Heads, when a spell card is activated, this card's attack becomes double its original attack until the end phase of that turn. Tails, when a spell card is activated, your opponent gains 500 life points. Arcana Force 1, The Magician, is a representation of the Magician Tarot card. The Magician is generally associated with intelligence and skillful communicators. His presence indicates a level of self-confidence and drive which allows you to translate ideas into action. Your success in upcoming ventures in life or business will likely hinge upon your own strength of will and determination. If it is upright, it is a sign of power, skill, concentration, action, and resourcefulness. If it is reversed, it represents manipulation, 
poor planning and latent talents. His attack and defense points is his number 1 times 100, which equals 100, plus 1000, which equals 1100. His artwork shows the monster in different color spectrums. As well, he appears in the anime exclusive artworks of Magician's Scales and the Material Lord. Empress's Staff. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, negate it and end the battle phase. Then inflict 500 damage to your opponent. If you control no monsters, you can activate this card from your hand. Sadly, there is no number 2 tarot card in the Arcane of Force. However, it is believed that Zone's card Empress Staff is the representation of it. This is mainly due to the fact that this card is known in the Japanese as the High Priestess's Staff, which means that this card is a representation of the High Priestess Tarot card. But what does it mean? Well, the High Priestess suggests you possess inherent good judgement, in the form of strong intuition. She may indicate that reason should take second place to instinct. Your head must trust in the wisdom of your heart for a change. Intuition is most effective at seeing what is hidden to the senses, so the High Priestess may also come as a warning of concealed facts or influences that are, or will be, important to you. If it is upright, it is a sign of intuition, higher powers, mystery and the subconscious mind. If it is reversed, it represents hidden agendas and the need to listen to an inner voice. Arcana Force 3, The Empress. When this card is summoned, toss a coin. Heads. Each time your opponent normal summons or sets a monster, you can special summon one Arcana Force monster from your hand. Tails. Each time your opponent normal summons or sets a monster, send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Arcana Force 3, the Empress, is a representation of the Empress Tarot card. The Empress is associated with strong maternal influence. It is excellent news if you are looking for harmony in your marriage or hoping to start a family. Any artistic endeavours you are currently associated with are are also likely to be more successful, as this card is often revealed to those with strong bursts of creative or artistic energy. This card can also suggest a very strong possibility of pregnancy. Not necessarily yours, but you might be seeing a new addition to your extended family or the family of a close friend in the near future. If it is upright, it is a sign of fertility, femininity, beauty, nature and abundance. If it is reversed, it represents creative block and a dependence on others. Her attack and defense points is her number 3 times 100, 300 plus 1000, 1300. This monster appears in the artwork of Arcana Call and the anime exclusive card, The Material Lord. Her attack name as well is uniquely called Empress Breast Stingers in the Japanese. Arcana Force 4, The Emperor. When this card is summoned, toss a coin. Heads, all Arcana Force monsters you control gain 500 attack. Tails, all Arcana Force monsters you control lose 500 attack. Arcana Force 4, the Emperor, is a representation of the Emperor Tarot card. It is the direct counterpart to the Empress. The Emperor signifies a powerful influence. Things like leadership and authority, self-discipline and stability through the power of action. Its positive influence suggests you may be on the path to advancement or promotion. Often a companion to those destined to take on greater responsibility, it may be a warning of change or loss that necessitates you stepping forward to shoulder a greater burden that you have in the past. Whatever the reason for the change, it indicates you may possess an inner strength that will compel you to act and to lead. If it is upright, it is a sign of authority, father figure, structure and a solid foundation. If it is reversed, it represents domination, excessive control, rigidity and inflexibility. This monster's attack and defense points are his number 4 times 100, 400 plus 1000, 1400. Emperor's Staff. Your opponent draws one card. This turn, cards you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. There is no number 5 tarot card in the Arcane of Force. However, it is believed that this trap card, which was used by Sartorius, is the representation of it. This card is known in the Japanese as Heriophant's One, and as such it represents the Heriophant tarot card, sometimes referred to as the High Priest or Pope. Depending on your own nature, the Heriophant can mean very different things. At its root, it represents a set of beliefs. It is most often indicative of your own approach to the moral, religious and social conventions of the world. Considered wisely, it helps show the path towards fulfilment. 
If it is upright, it is a sign of religion, group identification, conformity, tradition, and beliefs. If it is reversed, it represents restriction and challenging the status quo. Arcana Force 6, The Lovers. When this card is summoned, toss a coin. Heads, this card can be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of an Arcana Force monster. Tails, you cannot tribute summon Arcana Force monsters. Arcana Force 6 The Lovers is a representation of the Lovers Tarot card. Your first instinct will most likely be to associate this card as representing love, but much like love, it does not possess a simple nature. Not only does love come in many forms, but the Lovers may indicate important or difficult choices ahead in your life. This is bad, in that the choices it portends to are genuinely mutually exclusive, paths to two very different futures, but also good, in that it also confirms that at least one of those paths will take you to a good place. As such, if you find this card, you should consider it carefully, but not fear it. It tells a story of difficult choices, likely painful, but that the correct decision and positive outcome are within your grasps. If it is upright, it is a sign of love, union, relationships, values, alignment, and choices. If it is reversed, it represents disharmony, imbalance, and misalignment of values. His attack and defense points are his number 6 times 100, 600, plus 1000, 1600. And this monster appears in the artwork of Arcana Call. Arcana Force 7, The Chariot. When this card is summoned, toss a coin. Heads, if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can special summon that monster to your side of the field. Tails, your opponent gains control of this card. Arcana Force 7, The Chariot, is a representation of the Chariot Tarot card. Getting this card means you have some hard work ahead of you. It may be resolved quickly, but the Chariot is a powerful card, and the labor you are undertaking will probably trend towards long and difficult. You will quite possibly experience rough roads, long uphill slopes, dead ends, and painful setbacks. A good outcome is only assured if the card is upright, but do not let yourself lose hope. The hard road will instill in you a strength of purpose, the ability to overcome through organization and endurance, and the confidence possessed only by those who have done what they thought they could not do. Harnessed correctly, few forces can stand against an individual like that. If it is upright, it is a sign of control, willpower, victory, assertion, and determination. If it is reversed, it represents lack of control and direction, as well as aggression. His attack and defense points are his number, 7 times 100, 700, plus 1,000, 1,700. And this monster appears in the artworks of Arcana Call and the anime exclusive card, The Material Lord. Arcana Force 8, The Strength. When this card is summoned, toss a coin. Heads, take control of one monster your opponent controls. Tails, your opponent selects and takes control of one monster you control, except this card. An anime exclusive card, Arcana Force 8, The Strength, represents the Strength Tarot card. The Strength card is the rawest form of power and you possess it in some form. It is a very happy card if you are fighting illness or recovering from injury. As you might have suspected, its influence over you and the use you put it to can trend towards light or dark. You likely trend towards facing your problems courageously, head on and conquering them through perseverance and will. With this ability to overcome life's obstacles though, comes the responsibility to control yourself. As such, this card may be a warning to take command of your own actions or emotions before they damage you or the people you care about. If it is upright, it is a sign of strength, courage, patience, control, and compassion. If it is reversed, it represents weakness, self-doubt, and a lack of self-discipline. Its attack and defense points are its number 8 times 100 equals 800 plus 1000 equals 1800. And this card's face appears in the artwork of the anime exclusive Reverse Reborn, as well as as in the artwork of the anime card, The Spiritual Lord. Number 9, The Hermit. Unfortunately, there is no cards that fit into the number 9 position, but if there was, it would represent the Hermit Tarot card. This card reveals that there are times in every life when one must step back and make a careful examination of their situations and decisions. Finding the Hermit suggests this is just such a time for you. You are in need of a period of inner reflection, away from the current demands of your position. This retreat can be physical or mental. If it is upright, it is a sign of soul searching, introspection, being alone and inner guidance. If it is reversed, it represents isolation loneliness and withdrawal. 
Reversal of Fate. Select one Arcana Force monster you control. That monster effect is now treated as the opposite coin toss. While not one of the monsters, Reversal of Fate is a representation of the Wheel of Fortune tarot card. Symbolic of life circles, the Wheel of Fortune speaks to good beginnings. Most likely you will find the events foretold to be positive, but being aspects of luck, they may also be beyond your control and influence. Tend those things you can control with care, and learn not to agonize over the ones you cannot. If it is upright, it is a sign of good luck, karma, life cycles, destiny, and a turning point. If it is reversed, it represents bad luck, negative external forces, and being out of control. Another one that doesn't have any known cards, but if there was, it would represent the Justice Tarot card. Justice is a very good card to find. If you have acted with kindness and fairness towards others, and especially if you have been a victim, it is a significant indicator of a positive resolution. Although how and what sort will depend on your own experiences. If you have been unfair, abusive, or otherwise shady and immoral in your dealings though, pay heed. For the unjust, this card is at best a dire warning to change your ways before retribution falls upon you, and at worst a simple statement that it is already too late. In neutral cases though, it may simply be telling you to seek out balance in your life. If it is upright, it is a sign of justice, fairness, truth, cause and effect, and law. If it is reversed, it represents unfairness, lack of accountability, and dishonesty. Arcana Force 12 the Hanged Man. When this card is summoned, toss a coin. Heads, during your end phase, destroy one face-up monster you control, and you take damage equal to its attack. Tails, during your end phase, destroy one face-up monster your opponent controls, and your opponent takes damage equal to its attack. An anime exclusive card, Arcana Force 12, The Hanged Man, represents the Hanged Man tarot card. The Hanged Man can be interpreted in two very different ways. All change is a small kind of death as the old must die to create the new, and it may simply indicate upheaval or a change in your future, perhaps beyond your control, but more likely a decision that, for good or ill, you will not be able to turn back from. The other interpretation is one of sacrifice, although whether this sacrifice is small or great may not be easily interpreted. Both interpretations imply permanence, and that you should give very careful thought to your decisions in your life. If it is upright, it is a sign of suspension, restriction, letting go, and sacrifice. If it is reversed, it represents martyrdom, indecision, and delay. His attack and defense points is his number 12 times 100, 1200 plus 1000, 2200. And this card appears in the artwork of Spiritual Lord. Tour of Doom. During your opponent's standby phase, toss a coin. Heads, your opponent cannot normal summon or flip summon until the end phase. Tails, you cannot normal summon or flip summon during your next turn. Known in the Japanese as Tor of the Grim Reaper, this trap card represents the Death Tarot card. Death is indicative of change in your future. The change can be almost any aspect of your life, but it will almost certainly be permanent, significant, and absolute. Death suggests a complete severance between the past and the future, and it will likely be painful. Despite the sense of loss that may accompany it, death fills an important and natural role in life, and leads eventually to acceptance. It is a necessary part of moving forward, and you will find the changes easiest if you embrace them, rather than fight them. Expect the end of a close friendship, a job, a marriage, or even a life. But do not focus too greatly on the negative. If it is upright, it is a sign of endings, beginnings, change, transformation, and transition. Whereas if it is reversed, it represents resistance to change and the inability to move on. Arcana Force 14, Temperance. During damage calculation in either player's turn, you can discard this card. You take no battle damage from that battle. When this card is summoned, toss a coin and apply the effect. The effect lasts while this card is face upon the field. Heads, half all battle damage you take. Tails, half all battle damage your opponent takes. Arcana Force 14, Temperance, is a representation of the Temperance Tarot card. An optimistic card, Temperance encourages you to find balance in your life and approach problems with a calm demeanor. It recognizes that opposing forces need not be at war within you. Tread carefully in any major decisions you make. 
with confidence that good decisions will lead to a good resolution for you. If it is upright, it is a sign of balance, moderation, patience, purpose, and a meaning. If it is reversed, it represents imbalance, excess, and a lack of long-term vision. His attack and defense points is his number 14 times 100, 1400 plus 1000 equals 2400. This is the only Arcana Force monster, apart from Arcana Force Zero The Fool, to have an effect which does not rely on a coin flip. In this case, its ability to negate battle damage. Arcana Force 15 The Fiend. When this card is summoned, toss a coin. If heads, this card gains the right side up effect. If tails, this card gains the upside down effect. Right side up, when this card attacks, select and destroy one monster on the field, then inflict 500 damage to the opponent of the destroyed monster. If this monster is not destroyed, destroy this card. Upside down, when this card attacks, destroy all monsters on the field. Arcana Force 15, The Fiend, is known in the Japan as Arcana Force 15, The Devil, and as such is a representation of the Devil Tarot card. The Devil is in the business of entrapment. It signifies a situation from which there is no escape, or a road leading to one. Forewarning may let you avoid the trap, or it may not. What sort of trap and how you might avoid it depends on where the Devil appears in your spread, and what the other cards are surrounding it. If it is upright, it is a sign of bondage, addiction, sexuality, and materialism. If it is reversed, it represents detachment, breaking free, and power reclaimed. His attack and defense points is his number 15 times 100, 1500, plus 1000, 2500. This card is featured in the anime artwork of Arcanatic Doom Scythe, and this is one of the few Arcana Force monsters to have potentially positive or negative effects for both its flips. This also could be due to the fact that the tarot card that this card is based on is almost never a positive sign in a tarot reading regardless of its position. There is no number 16, but if there was, it would be the Tower Tarot card. Which, dark and foreboding, the Tower is the embodiment of disruption and conflict. Not just change, but the abrupt and jarring movement caused by unforeseen and traumatic events which are part of life. The Tower in your spread is always a threat but life inevitably involves tragedy, and you must decide whether you will face it with grace. If it is upright, it represents disaster, upheaval, sudden change, and revelation. If it is reversed, it represents avoidance of disaster and a fear of change. There is no number 17, but if there was, it would be the Star Tarot card. The star's presence signifies a period of respite and renewal for you. The renewal may be spiritual, physical, or both. It is a particularly positive sign if you or someone close is recovering from illness or injury. It is a light in the darkness, illuminating your future and your past. If it is upright, it is a sign of hope, spirituality, renewal, inspiration, and serenity. If it is reversed, it represents lack of faith, despair, and discouragement. Arcana Force 18, The Moon. When this card is summoned, toss a coin. Heads, during your standby phase, you can special summon one moon token, a fairy type light level one, attack zero, defense zero. Tails, during each of your end phases, select one monster you control and give control of it to your opponent. Arcana Force 18, The Moon, is a representation of the Moon Tarot card. Something in your life is not what it seems, perhaps a misunderstanding on your part, or a truth you cannot admit to yourself. It may also indicate something important being kept from you by another. This may be a source of worry or depression in your life. And the Moon is a strong indicator that you must rely on your intuition to see through this. If it is upright, it is a sign of illusion, fear, anxiety, insecurity, and subconsciousness. If it is reversed, it represents release of fear, unhappiness, and confusion. His attack and defense points is his number 18 times 100, 1800 plus 1000, 2800. There is no number 19, but if there was, it'd be the Sun Tarot card. As an inherently good influence, finding the sun is a positive development. It is suggestive of personal gain and the personal goals and joy are within reach, if you are willing to invest the effort to actualize them. If you are embarking on a new personal venture, such as marriage or beginning a family, the sun is a particularly good influence. If it is upright, it is a sign of fun, warmth, success, positivity, and vitality. If it is reversed, it represents temporary depression or a lack of success. There is no number 20 card, but if there was, it would be the Judgment Tarot card. Judgment tells a story of transition, but unlike Death or the Tower, it is not a sudden change, 
or born of luck or intuition, but a change that springs from reason. It signifies plans, often long in the making, coming to fruition. It points towards the future. It may also speak towards the nature of change. If there is a choice that needs to be made, then let your mind guide you to the decision. Logic, in this case, is a better guide than intuition. Be prepared to make a major decision in your life, likely one that will shape the next chapter of yours. If it is upright, it is a sign of judgment, rebirth, inner calling, and absolution. If it is reversed, it represents self-doubt or a refusal of self-examination. Arcana Force 21, The World. When this card is summoned, toss a coin. Heads, during your end phase, you can send two monsters you control to the graveyard to skip your opponent's next turn. Tails, during your opponent's draw phase, add the top card of their graveyard to their hand. Arcana Force 21, The World, is a representation of the World Tarot card. The World is an indicator of a major and impossible to stop change in your life. This change represents a chance for you to bring about a desirable end to the old and a good beginning to the new. It is indicative of growing maturity, a sense of inner balance and deeper understanding. It suggests that you may be approaching more final sense of identity Entity and the security in the self that comes with age. It also represents the falling away of boundaries, sometimes in the effusive sense of the spiritual, but sometimes in a purely physical sense, indicating travels or journeys in the future. If it is upright, it is a sign of completion, integration, accomplishment, and travel. If it is reversed, it represents lack of completion and a lack of closure. His attack and defense points are his number 21 times 100, 2100 plus 1000, 3100. This is one of only two cards that work dependent on the order of the cards in the graveyard. The other card is Question. And it is one of only four cards that can cause an entire turn to be skipped. The other three cards are Gamble, Telenite Plumatius, and the Six Shinobi. This card is featured in the artwork of Light Barrier and also appears in the anime only card, The Sky Lord. Funnily enough, this card's heads effect can be considered a reference to Dio Brando's Stand the World in the manga and anime series Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, which has the ability to stop time. Which, notably, the voice actor of this card's owner, Sartorius, Takahito Koyasu is also the voice actor for Dio in the anime adaptation of Jojo. Despite the fact it was made much later than Yu-Gi-Oh, it's still a fun coincidence. Arcana Force X, The Dark Ruler. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by sending free monsters you control to the graveyard and cannot be special summoned by other ways. When this card is special summoned, toss a coin and gain the appropriate effect. Heads, this card can make a second attack during each battle phase, but if it does so using this effect, change it to defense position at the end of the battle phase. Its battle position cannot be changed until the end of your next turn. Tails, if this card is destroyed, destroy all cards on the field. This card and Arcana Force X, the Light Ruler, are the only Arcana Force monsters that are not tarot cards. Despite that fact, it does have a symbolic meaning in the anime. It represents Sartorius' descent into darkness from his desire for power, hence its name, the Dark Ruler. As well, this monster and Arcana Force X, the Light Ruler, Odin, Father of the Azir, and Cephalon, the Ultimate Time Lord, are the strongest fairy type monsters in the card game. Although this is a dark counterpart to Arcana Force X the Light Ruler, it itself is not a dark attribute monster, instead remaining light. The only other monster to do this is Dark Desapir, who is an Earth attribute despite being the dark counterpart to Desert Appear. Arcana Force X the Light Ruler Cannot be normal summoned a set, must be special summoned from your hand by sending three monsters you control to the graveyard and cannot be special summoned by other ways. When this card is special summoned, toss a coin and gain the appropriate effect. Heads. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can target one card in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. Tails. During either player's turn, when a spell or trap card or monster effect that targets this card is activated, this card loses exactly 1000 attacks and you negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. Again, this monster does not have a tarot card, but it does have a symbolic meaning. It represents Sartorius after he is fully consumed by the Light of Destruction, hence its name, the Light Ruler. In the anime, it is revealed that the X stands for Extra. The design is based on an original tarot card, the Eye of Night, which appears in the Konami game, Silent Hill. This card appears in the artwork of Decisive Power of Absolute Destiny. This card is considered as the ultimate arcade 
Arcana Force monster by Sartorius. We also have the rest of the support cards in the minor arcana, such as Cup of Ace, which is Ace of Cups, Suit of Sword X, which is the Ten of Swords, Ace of Sword, which is the Ace of Swords, Ace of One, which is the Ace of Ones, Knight of Pentacles, which is the Knight of Pentacles, and the Pentacles of Ace, which is the Ace of Pentacles. We also have Light Barrier and Arcana Call. And with that, guys, that's another trivia video done. I want to give a huge, massive shout out to You Know Light, James Pike, CBCBCBCB, The Gengar King, Barrett Jackson Daly, Chung Ming Zen, and David Shanahan, as well as to everybody else. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Really, really appreciative of everything you're doing for the channel. Thank you very much, guys. I'll catch you later.